I just finished A Letter to the Sky by John Boyne. I punched this out in a couple of days. I loved this book. It's so great. Um, it's probably my first experience that I can remember where I just hated the main character and his lack of conscience and good. He was horrible. But... I just could not put it down. Normally, if I can't stand the main character, it, it it's rough for me to get through. But this was so well done. This is all about what you do to succeed in the vocation that you want. This man wanted to be a writer. And all he wanted to do was be the greatest writer in the world. And he stopped at nothing, at nothing to do it. He was just a complete ass. And even till the very last page of the book, he was a complete ass. I love John Boyne's writing. This is his latest novel. Um, it's the third one I've read. It, every one of them have got a five stars. I've read um, A Heart's Invis Invisible Furies, which I loved. I read um, A Boy in the Striped Pajamas, which I loved. And now this, which I love. They're all five star books. Yeah, there's something about John Boyne's writing that makes me really happy and yeah I really enjoyed it and I'm really glad that um, another booktuber an Australian booktuber Renee I'll link his channel he's great and he had read this earlier and um, wanted to talk to someone about it and I realize now having read it that you know you needed to to be able to work out what the hell was going on and what you were feeling and I was I'm glad I got to bounce off Renee through this anyway I'm grateful for, for having book two friends that's what I wanted to say yeah do yourself a favor pick it up it's a fabulous read it really is and pack it away for a couple of months. We're all involved. It's gonna be a big day, a big hot day. from my empty house. Is it echoey? Is it bad lighting? Yes. Perfect for day one of Vlogmas. Um, today's been moving and moving and moving, but we are now, we have a granny flat at our house, so we've moved out of our house into the granny flat, so it's very empty in here. But I retreated to our house to um, just film this wrap up of November reads. So in no particular order, what did I get? Oh, I just finished this today. Technically it's not an November read because I finished it today, but um, it's great. So, yep, that one, uh, The Feather Thief. I finished this a couple of days ago. This is great. It's my non-fiction November, my, yeah, my one and only. It's about a man who um, is a, what is he? No, he's not a fly fisherman. He likes tying flies as, and he wants to get all of the feathers to make all of the historical flies and so he steals them from the Natural History Museum. He gets caught. That's the only spoiler I give you, but there is far more to this story than that. 
I would highly recommend this book. I gave it four stars, it's great. Oh, the book with the longest title in the world by Jesse Greengrass. I need to read Sight by Jesse Greengrass after reading this book. I gave it three stars, but only because uh, it's short stories and that is just not my deal at the moment, but I loved her writing so much, so I will read Sight for sure. Ah, oh, Murder at the Brightwell. What a great book. This is an easy read. It's a great whodunit. But it's not the same as everything else. It's, I mean, the plot is the same, um, but the characters are awesome. They're vivid, they're alive. Our main gal, Amory, she is just witty and confident and awesome. And I loved this book a lot. I would highly recommend it. This is the first in a series of six, I think. So I will definitely read more of that. Ugh, yikes. I didn't like this book. This is Go Went Gone by Jenny Erpenbeck. Why didn't I like it? It was stoic. The main character was horrible, but he was so different to Ladder in the Sky horrible. He was, oh, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. This has got such rave reviews. It, I was, it was so highly anticipated by me. I just had this, in the back of my mind for so long. And I just found it so clunky, so boring, so short and sharp. There was no empathy, there was no emotion. The end of the book turned it around and I've spoken about this before, I can see where she was going, but really, it wasn't done well. And I'm sad about that. I wouldn't recommend it, that's where I'm at. I'm at a two star on this one and that's pretty crap, but. Yeah, it is. I read this with my sister, which was wonderful, but she hated it too. So <laughs> I feel like I'm justified in saying it was a really bad read. Sorry if you love it. <gasps> Acadia. Oh, Acadia. Lauren Groff's writing is amazing. If you haven't read any of her books, please do. It's important that you do because her writing is amazing. Acadia was great. Her writing shone through, no doubt. I just, it jumped ahead. It had four parts and each part was at least 10, 20 years between each part. And I just felt like I was missing out on so much. I could have stuck with the first part and read a whole novel about that. It was, it was wonderful. I gave it four stars simply because I felt like I missed out on something. It's, it's beautifully written. And lastly, oh, why do we end on this, Rebecca? <laughs> if you've seen my reading vlogs, you know I didn't like it. You know I felt bad about that, but I truly didn't like it. I was so annoyed by this woman. She annoyed me. And like I said in the vlog, I don't know her name. I have no connection to this woman whatsoever. I just found this horribly annoying, this book. And I know that so many people love it and have given it five stars and raved about it, but... I think Daphne du Maurier and I are done after this book, which is not cool. Sorry. So, um, yeah, one, two, three, seven books in November. Better than I expected, being that we're moving house. So that's the end of Vlogmas Day 1. I'm going to go to bed. I'm exhausted. It's time to go to bed. I will see you tomorrow, I guess. Daily vlogging. Daily vlogging life. Okay, good night.